Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Coin World UK. I hope everyone is having a great day. Now, before I get on with the video, this is a coin store purchase that I purchased online and uh, obviously don't have actually a shop per se in the area um, close to me, but we do have one no more than 10 minutes away, um, but it's really, really overpriced and uh, we haven't had a chance to actually go to the ant antique store next door to it, which do sell more guns and stuff like that. But um, when we get a chance to go over to Wooten Bassett, or Bassett as we call it anyway, in Wiltshire, then um, I'll do a video. I lived there for a minute for about two years um, whilst I was in college. and uh, But here uh, it just shows you don't have to go to a bricks and mortar shop. If you've got something in mind and you want it, um, search all the uh, websites you can possibly find some are more some are less and that it's not always about um, I would say quality obviously you're not going to get something in great quality for a cheap price it's very very rare that happens I got something that I wanted I've already got this set anyway but I want I, this is something I wanted to have and it was like a, a challenge for myself to see if I can get the cheapest and I think the coins in here, I've already checked, the coins are actually in really, really cool condition. The only thing it doesn't come with is the COA. That's really, again, either here or there. You can get them online anyway. Um, but I can't show the, the box. It's got personal information in there, obviously. And uh, so this is the set I bought. It's a coinage for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 1977. It's the year uh, of the... Uh, silver jubilee and uh, i was only five years old at the time and as i said i've already checked it and some of the coins are tarnished as i said it's over here there so you've got the silver jubilee coin there and you've got the 50p the 10p the old, the old large 10p 5p uh, 2p 1p and half penny and uh here's the reverse side of the coins here and you'll be surprised how much i got this for to be honest uh these can go to say more than 10 pounds to 15 pounds depending on the seller or how desperate you really want it um so what i normally do i look at ebay and i then challenge myself to go around all the trusted coin stores online and have a look and with free postage i got this less than 10 pounds um as i said uh, the coins are in really really good quality for a, a proof for a proof set as so it doesn't come with the uh the coa but that's over here or there you can get it again the case is it looks like it's had some labels on it from different stores by the looks of it it's passed down to and so they just couldn't sell it anymore and uh who knows uh, how much they bought it for they might have bought it for say 10 quid and uh they've had it in their in their store for a long time and it's just something that they got rid of in their bargain in the bargain place so um not bad for free postage i mean i mean the posters for this is what i would say about i don't know 325 350 three pound five i don't know um but some of the coins are tarnished that side that doesn't really matter to me uh it was a little bit of a challenge for myself so um it just want to show you that you don't have to always go out and rush your collection uh you don't always have to go out and buy the best coins for uh an extensive amount of money um people are willing to bargain and, and barter um and I've, obviously this store i bought it from is bnta registered and i like to say uh this is absolutely an awesome set so Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, so this is going to go again in my other sets as well so I like finding these sets now and then I do prefer the circulated coins to be honest but I think they're really really cool. Um, I was asked a question last night actually um, about the coin sets I think it was 2007 set um, and they can go for again I mean just if you do have eBay, if you have access, just have access to eBay. A lot of the shops in Great Britain do ship internationally as well. So 
Um, remember, eBay is not always be all, be all and end all to go to. Um, uh, just just be careful what you're buying. Read the description, and uh, and then go to a trusted coin store that are um, registered by the British Numismatics Trade Trade um, Association. That means it's governed. Um, and if you have any queries about what you're buying or selling, and you think you're being uh, buying something overpriced or underpriced, um, then they will look into that just for fair trade basically and uh there is another organization but i can't remember what it's called i think these are absolutely awesome anyway thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed my little video there and i will see you all in the next video